Lately, it seems like we're always coming back to Brazil. All right, first one of these for a new season. I'm excited. Um, I got some plans this season. We'll see how it shakes out. Um, I'm planning on trying to do both the IMSA and e European Endurance Series. Um, the, both uh, both Endurance Series. So we'll hop back and forth between the two, depending on which week it is. And then during the regular weeks, uh, during the week, we'll compete in the that uh, that track. So we're going to be alternating between the two. If there's a repeat, I think I'll try and do a, a guide for the other one. We'll see. Um, and I don't know how much these are guides and how much it's just me kind of um, showing the best that I can do. And if it helps you, it helps you. I don't know that I'm going to be the fastest in these cars because we're doing the prototypes. And I am not the best uh, when it comes to the high downforce cars. The... Uh, uh, Porsche Cup had decent downforce, uh, the TCR not so much, so yeah. Kind of in a different wheelhouse, um, but uh, I'm excited. Uh, here at uh, Interlagos for week one in IMSA, um, we were able to do a 121.905. Uh, track temps were on the coolish side, but I tried to set up the date the same as the race will be, so we'll see it can always get really hot here um that was using the attack and uh, we kind of made a setup on thursday uh playing around with some guys uh just doing some practice friday maybe i don't know during the week we did um i'll have a link to that uh setup below if you're interested um it's just based off a, a few tweaks from the uh i racing medium downforce set um but yeah, with that being said, um, I do think the fast guys will be around uh, the 120 mark. Um, I was, like I said, able to do a 121.9. More or less happy with it, and uh, we'll show you the lap, and then we'll explain how we did it, and come back. That lap was a 122.9. Sector 3 is a tenth off your best. Uh, 21.9 all right interlagos in the bmw m hybrid v8 um we're in a 52 percent brake bias and um custom setup that we made um i'll have a link down below uh to that if you're interested if you want it um 121.905 is what i was able to get here i am pretty happy with that um we're in attack mode for this best lap here. Um, so take that for what it's worth. Um, but first, you know, we're just getting a good run out of this corner here. Um, your longest stretch at uh, Interlagos. And here comes our lap. All right, so first spot we're gonna break is the 100 marker maybe a little bit after here. That's kind of what we're aiming for. Yeah, start a little bit before, but we're peaking after regenerating that battery and i'm doing the thing where i'm not letting go of the brake or the gas all the way okay um i think i might need to mess with my pedals a little bit and yeah we're just slowing down 
Um, we're going to come up high, a little higher than, you know, I, I always have to tell myself to do that before we start turning down. Might even want to go a little, a little higher than I did there. And then we just come down on this curb here and try and straighten this out as much as we can. And we're partially throttling. And back on it and lift a little bit as we come to this corner here. And then we're going to get back on it as we start to come out. Then we're going to be on this curb a little bit on the left here. But we are full throttling through. And I believe it's just going to be flat right here. I'm going one eighth, we'll go half speed. Yeah, just flat all the way. And then we're going to be on another straightaway. And our next breaking point is kind of this uh, past the hundred board, kind of around this um, little uh, sidewalk right there. So we're going to start to hit the brakes. I maybe we were a little earlier that time, a little bit past the hundred board. Yeah, around the sidewalk. Pretty heavy on the brakes here. We're gonna come over to the left as we're coming off the brakes as evenly as we can and clip that curb just a little bit. You can take a little bit more of that. Then we're gonna back on the throttle. Coming out as far as we dare over here. I think I was really on the edge of it when I did. Um, I think any further, and that's an off track, but our inside wheels are inside here, so. We are good. We're back on the gas. And we're just full throttle through here. We'll come back on over to the right, use this curb. Then my next braking zone is kind of, see this darker part, patch of uh, concrete here. It's kind of somewhere. The track temperature is falling. Oh, it's now 91 Fahrenheit. Thank you, Jim. Um, yeah, kind of where this dark patch of, of concrete starts is kind of where I'm going to start getting on the brakes. And it's just a little bit on the brakes. It's not a ton. And I, on this track especially, I notice it. I have all my crossing of my inputs a little bit here, here and there. I'm going to pretend it's to help regenerate the battery, but it's just because I'm making mistakes. But yeah, we're just going to kind of hold the brakes just a little bit there, just a, a, a tad. And then we're going to modulate the throttle as we're coming up over here full full throttle and then kind of as we reach this side of the track and it gets a little bit before there um kind of as we meet this part of the track is kind of where i start braking again then we're going to use uh quite a bit of this curb over here just trying to straighten out the um the next corner as much as we can Partial throttle. I'm down in first here. And just gonna keep it in first to uh, get more engine torque in the rotation. Partial throttle. And then, kind of as we come out, I don't think we'll be able to see it on the thing here. Uh, pop it into second, short shifting a little bit to keep from spinning out or anything like that. I'll show you how we were on that corner there, real quick here. Yeah, we're just we're using all that astroturf. So yeah, but yeah, we want to sh short shift there, and then we're just gonna full throttle through here, and then it looks like it must already started breaking. Um, it's kind of at the end, a little bit before the heavy braking is gonna come. What kind of like as we meet the next curb but we're just kind of trying to go in a straight line here as we break and then we'll let off and turn in I'm just trying to hug this curb on the right and just start feeding some throttle in as we're coming around 
Then as we straighten the car out, rest of the throttle. And we just go. The traction control kicks in at the end of first there a lot of times. So I just kind of like the, I think that's the boost kicking in. So like below 80%, the boost doesn't really kick in. Oh, this is all just full throttle by the way. So I kind of like hold off, I think on that last little bit of the throttle pressed before like really throwing it in there. Um, heavy braking, I kind of aim for like this little, there's a couple of these little patches where the, um, AstroTurf has a little bit of a different texture and I kind of use that as the the second one there as the breaking point and then I'm, I'm not cutting this hugely just a little bit here and we're just gonna give it partial throttle through there so yeah just coming off on the brakes evenly and then feed the throttle in get back onto the pavement and then feed the rest of it in as we get the car straightened out. And it's just basically full throttle the rest of the way home. And there we have it, a 121.905. So yeah, I am excited. Nervous? But excited to try something different. Um, I imagine the I rating is going to go down uh, trying something different for for a while. Um, I'm okay with that. It, it's going to be something that happens. We've got another video link to where I I, I talk about that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm just doing something completely different. Learn something new. Getting back into the endurance races and everything. Um, I'm excited. I, I'm always excited at the beginning of the season. Uh, so yeah happy with the times we'll see how it goes on track i think saving tires is going to be important managing traffic will be important that's something that i don't really have a ton of uh practice on so we'll see how that goes that's another new thing to learn but anyway if you're interested in watching uh me try these races and uh whatnot head on over to twitch.tv slash the piltdown man follow along live there hit the subscribe button i'll be posting some of them here on the uh the youtube channel and uh, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. We'll see you next time. Bye.